Welcome back friends. We have just talked about the biochemistry of vinegar production. Now in this video we will be talking about the biosynthesis of vinegar. That means we will utilize bacteria to produce vinegar by oxidizing ethanol. Right? So usually we take substrate as wine or whey, whatever. Usually wine or alcohol containing, very low alcohol containing uh, materials. And the inoculum in this case we just take as acetobacter, acid is the bacterium. And the inoculum, remind you, prepared in this case in putting it in a vinegar and alcohol mixture. Because this acetobacter requires the presence of vinegar as well as presence of ethanol for its growth. So we'll take this inoculum, we'll add it. Now the process for production of a vinegar in biosynthesis method, there are two methods that are actually available. One is called the trickling generation system. Another method is the liquid submerged fermentation. Both of them are uh, there, but liquid submerged fermentation is better than the trickling generation. Why? We'll be looking at it now. So let me divide it here and talk about two of them separately. Now, uh, the, the first kind are the trickling generation, a trickling system, and this one is a submerged system. and trickling generation system. So in the trickling generation system what we know, uh, in trickling filter trickling generation system we are having a kind of uh, panel of wooden, wooden chamber like that. Now this wooden chamber is having some shavings, some beech wood shavings here. So say these are the beech wood shavings that are just placed inside this wooden chambers. Okay, in the bottom of the chamber there is a tray for running things in and out. And somewhere here in this there is air flow region and on the top side there is sprayer like that. Okay, let's do a tank. Okay, so kind of looks like this. And so let me write these are beech wood shavings. And what we do here, this uh, is called like sparger or sprayer. Through this sprayer, and actually, uh, this beech wood is continuously made up with uh, the wooden materials and it contains the bacteria of our interest. For example, Leuconobacter or acid, uh, Acetobacter, we are having bacteria here added in this wood. Okay. And then we apply our substrate from this sparge, from this sprayer. We add our substrate. And the substrate will migrate through this different channels between this wood shavings to this bottom region. Okay. And we also put oxygen from the bottom. This oxygen is taking up through this bottom region and it will move to top and again fall down. Right? Now the stage of production, it requires certain amount of time for uh, the ethanol that is present in our substrate which is your wine to be converted into vinegar properly. So as the wine is moving through these wood chips, it will move and the bacteria present in wood chip try to convert this uh, ethanol into vinegar or acetic acid. Now, during the time it migrates, it's enough to convert the ethanol into 12 to 13 percent acetic acid. And then the solution falls down to this basin and it just eludes out. Or sometimes it can re enter this process again. Okay. And for this process to occur properly, we require oxygen because this is an oxidation reaction. So the oxygen is supplied from both the ends, as you can see here. It is supplied from both the ends and the oxygen is kind of moving. Now the oxygen will move fr from bottom to top because there is a temperature gradient in this barrel. Because at the top region, the temperature is almost kept 
cooler than the bottom. In the top region usually for this process the temperature lies in 29 degrees Celsius. From the bottom region it almost like 20, 35 degrees Celsius. So this temperature variance what it does actually. Now when, once when the oxygen is there at 25 degrees Celsius it is getting heated. It has become much more lighter. It just come to the top. And as it is moving to the top, it is becoming cooler. So again, oxygen kind of dipping out, dipping down. So that's the process of better mixing and circulation. And this process is required because most of the ferment, most of not fermentation, but most of the conversion from ethanol into acetic acid takes place during these migration stages through this wooden beach. Okay, so that's the process of trickling generation system. But I remind you, for this kind of processes, almost 80 to 88 percent of uh, that ethanol is converted into acetic acid, not less, th not more than that. That's a disadvantage of this kind of trickling generation system. On the other hand, if we look at the liquid submerged process, that is much more efficient because it is faster. Because in liquid submerged process, the process kept very firm, it is faster and the productivity is much more higher. Because as you can see in this case of trickling generation, the, the substrate is kind of wasted each time that is flows and it flows down to this basin, it is kind of wasted. Right? Now usually sometimes we can also recycle that but it's not lead to some good effects, that's why it's not done. But on the other hand, if you look at the liquid submerged uh, process, the submerged process simply it will be conducted like a submerged fermenter. It will have something like that and then it is having kind of blade or fan which will move, uh, which will move and it will be having uh, the oxygen adder here also. So say let's the pores are there through which oxygen will be added both the ends. It will move and then there is temperature control, there is uh, substrate addition chamber and there is heat control region. So there is heat jacket to re regulate a proper uh, temperature here and everything kind of uh, placed here and then uh, then after the conversion of it we need to take it out so there is definitely a region through which we just elude it out product out okay so everything is kind of balanced here in between and in this process there are there is oxygen generated throughout this place it's kind of water here okay now again in this process we just take out the substrate in this chamber and also we add inoculum sorry so this is an inoculum chamber through which we add our previous inoculum so inoculum in this case we simply use uh, the culture from a previous batch containing acetobacter as inoculum so we can add it and we can mix it and proper mixing will be there now for this type of process there is agitation continuous aeration continuous agitation and aeration is supplied throughout the time and this process is a kind of semi continuous or sometime continuous in nature and this process actually take place uh, kind of 40 to 42 degrees celsius temperature is required for this and it is conducted for 3 days that means 72 hours are the time for the conversion of the substrate into product and it was found that the productivity of uh, in, in the, using the submerged process is much more higher. It's actually 10 times higher than the productivity of the trickling generation system. Because it's again, if, I'm not going to talk about detail in the submerged because we have already talked about submerged fermenters in a lot of videos of our industrial microbiology uh, animation. You can see it in my YouTube channel. So you know that in this process there will be mixing, proper mixing, aeration, agitation, everything is there, you know, coulomb addition is there and this process may be continuous, it may not be continuous, it may be batch type, but whatever it is, it can take 40 to uh, 3 days for uh, in the temperature 40 to 42 degrees Celsius and we get our desired product. Once we get our desired product, we can take this product out from this fermenter and we can use it. Okay, so these are the two processes, but this is much more important because this is 
cost effective because for each time or for this type of process we need to take this wood, wood beach and everything which is pretty much costlier but in this case it is cost effective it is uh, having higher productivity it is easy to achieve and it is very very fast so these are the four advantages of sub submerged type of fermentation in case of the biosynthesis of vinegar over the trickling generation process so that's kind of it of it but mostly all of this in, in this case also it, it will take like 30 72 hours to produce it so it's also it also took 72 hours to produce uh, the product in both the case we take kind of three days to reach uh, at the perfect con condition of the product and we what we want here we want the product up to 12 to 13 percent of acetic acid not more than that remind you okay so we need to stop the reaction uh, so that the acetic acid concentration is not getting higher at this place and we need to select the bacteria according to our need Whatever type of bacteria we select, uh, we need to sterile everything properly. We need to do this process properly and so that we can get a better result. So that's kind of it. And I hope that's helpful. Thank you.